Watch. Pete vs. Kanye, Cardis Paranormal Pup. The cause of the death of the Bachelorette alum Clint Arliss has been made public. The 34-year-old reality star died by suicide, Illinois Kane County Coroner's Office said in a statement obtained by E! News on Friday, March 11. According to a coroner investigation report cited by Page Six, Arliss struggled with paranoia and was also having relationship problems with his girlfriend of four years before his death. Arliss' sister Taylor announced his death on Facebook on January. It is with great sadness to tell you that my family has lost my best friend and older brother Clint on the morning of January 11, she wrote. Please respect our family's privacy as we try to cope with this great loss. In addition to Taylor, Arliss is also survived by their brother Logan and their parents, Tom Arliss and Jamie Arliss. Arliss competed for Caitlin Bristow's heart on season 11 of The Bachelorette in 2015. All I want to say is that from knowing him on the show, you know, even though things didn't end on the best terms for us, from his time on the show till today, I have heard nothing but incredible things about that person, she said in an Instagram story following news of his death. From his peers, his students, his coaches, his teachers, his friends, his family. Clint was very well respected in his world. Bristow continued, it's such a huge loss and I am honestly just beside myself with this news. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know and let's all just say a prayer or be there for Clint's family during this time. Gosh, I am just so sorry. During his time on the ABC dating show, Arliss was known for his slogan, Villains Got a Vill. In real life, he was a very kind, unique, and talented person who was taken from this world far too soon, according to his Bachelorette co-star Nick Vile, who mourned his death on Twitter. I got a chance to get no Clint a little after our time on Caitlyn's season, The Bachelor season 21 star wrote in his tribute, and I always enjoy our time and conversations.